Where do Bulgarians really come from? For centuries, this question has puzzled historians and scientists alike. Some say Bulgarians are the direct descendants of the ancient Thracians, one of Europe's oldest civilizations. Others believe their roots are a unique blend of Thracian, Slavic, and Turkic peoples who shaped the Balkans over thousands of years. But now, for the first time DNA is giving us real answers. And what scientists have discovered is truly shocking. So stay with me until the end, because we're about to uncover the hidden truths behind Bulgarian DNA. And before we dive in, let me ask you a question. Do you think modern Bulgarians carry the blood of the ancient Thracians? For a long time, no one could agree on where the Bulgarian people truly came from. History books told different stories. Archaeologists, linguists, and historians all had their own theories, and most of them didn't quite match. Some believed the Bulgarians were direct descendants of the ancient Thracians, a mysterious civilization that ruled the Balkans thousands of years ago, long before Rome, long before even the Greeks had risen. Others insisted that Bulgarians came from the steppes of Central Asia, descended from the Proto-Bulgars, fierce, horse-riding tribes who rode westward across the plains and built an empire in the Balkans. Then, there were those who said the Bulgarians were mainly Slavic, people who had migrated south from the forests of Eastern Europe during the early Middle Ages. Three theories, three completely different origin stories, all claiming to explain who the Bulgarians really were. The problem was, each story had some truth in it. Ancient texts and artifacts hinted at all three influences, but none gave a complete answer. For example, Greek and Roman writers described the Thracians as tall, fair, and warlike. They left behind massive burial mounds, golden treasures, and mysterious inscriptions that no one has ever fully deciphered. The Thracians were powerful, yet somehow, they vanished from written history. Centuries later, during the 7th century AD, new tribes appeared in the Balkans, the Proto-Bulgars. Historical sources said they came from the east, from lands near the Volga River or even Central Asia. They were skilled horsemen and warriors. They built fortresses, carried steppe-style weapons, and practiced a unique culture that blended nomadic traditions with local customs. And around the same time, Slavic tribes were spreading through Eastern Europe. They moved into the Balkans, mixing with the older populations and spreading their language, the ancestor of modern Bulgarian. So historians tried to piece it all together. Some said Bulgarians were mostly Slavs, with small traces of Proto-Bulgars. Others argued the opposite, that Proto-Bulgars were the real founders, and the Slavs just adopted their name. And still others believe the Thracians never truly disappeared. They simply blended into the newcomers. The debate went on for decades. Every few years, a new study or excavation would seem to support one theory, only for the next discovery to point somewhere else. The question remained open. Who were the first Bulgarians? And how far back do their roots really go? For centuries, those questions could only be answered with guesses, from old chronicles, ruins, and legends. But in the last two decades, something incredible happened. Genetic science changed the game. Using tiny fragments of DNA extracted from ancient bones and teeth, scientists began to rebuild the genetic story of entire civilizations. They could finally trace how people moved, mixed, and evolved through time, not by what they wrote, but by what they were. This was more than archaeology. It was like time travel through blood. Across Europe, thousands of ancient skeletons were analyzed, from Stone Age farmers to medieval warriors. And soon, Bulgaria became one of the most interesting places on the map, Archaeologists began sending samples from Thracian tombs, ancient settlements, and medieval burial sites to genetics labs. Each sample held microscopic traces of history. DNA strands preserved in bones for thousands of years. When these ancient sequences were compared to modern Bulgarians, the results surprised even the scientists. At first, they expected to find a heavy Slavic or Turkic genetic imprint. That's what most textbooks suggested that modern Bulgarians were mainly descendants of Slavic tribes who absorbed the small Proto-Bulgar elite. 
But the DNA said something very different. The majority of genetic markers in modern Bulgarians didn't come from the Slavs or even from the Proto-Bulgars. They came from people who had lived in the Balkans for thousands of years, long before either group arrived. It was as if the Thracians, the supposed lost people, had never really disappeared at all. The technology behind these discoveries was extraordinary. Scientists used ancient genome sequencing, a method that reads billions of DNA fragments and reassembles them into a full genetic profile. They compared samples from Thracian burial sites in Bulgaria, like those near Kazanlak, Sveshtari, and Varna, with remains from other parts of Europe and Asia. The data showed that Thracian DNA was uniquely Balkan, distinct from both the steppe tribes of Central Asia and the forest-dwelling Slavs of the north. Then, they compared that same Thracian DNA to the genes of modern Bulgarians. Despite 2,500 years of invasions, migrations, and empire shifts, modern Bulgarians still carry a large share of ancient Thracian ancestry, more than almost any other population in the region. This finding challenged everything historians thought they knew about population replacement. Instead of vanishing, the Thracian genetic legacy had quietly survived beneath every historical layer that came after. When scientists looked deeper, they found even more details that changed the story of Bulgarian origins. The modern Bulgarian genome turned out to be a complex mosaic, a blend of several ancestral groups, each representing a different chapter of the Balkans' history. Let's break it down clearly. First, the ancient Balkan DNA. This makes up the largest part of the modern Bulgarian genetic makeup. It traces back to the Neolithic and Bronze Age people who settled the Balkans over 8,000 years ago, farmers and herders who built the first villages in Europe. These were the same communities who later became known as the Thracians. That continuity means modern Bulgarians share a deep biological link with the earliest Europeans who ever farmed this land. It's an unbroken chain, stretching from the Stone Age to the present day. Next came the Proto-Bulgars, the steppe tribes who arrived from the northeast around the 7th century AD. Genetically, their impact was smaller than many expected. Only a small percentage, roughly 10 to 15%, of modern Bulgarian DNA shows steppe ancestry linked to Central Asia or the Pontic Caspian steppe. Then came the Slavs, large waves of tribes who migrated south from Eastern Europe around the 6th century. Their arrival reshaped the cultural landscape. They brought language, traditions, and new customs that merged with the existing people of the Balkans. Genetically, the Slavic contribution is real but moderate perhaps 30 to 40 percent in total. That's enough to influence the language and cultural identity, but not enough to erase the older Balkan roots. DNA shows that rather than replacing the local population, the Slavs merged with it. Over time, the Balkans became a melting pot of empires. Greek colonies along the coast, Roman legions, Byzantine rulers, and Ottoman merchants all passed through these lands. Each left faint traces, small percentages of genetic input from southern Europe and the Near East. But again, these were additions, not replacements. The Thracian Balkan core remained dominant, surrounded by layers of historical influence. So when scientists finally mapped the full genome, they found something unexpected. Modern Bulgarians are not purely Slavic. They are not purely steppe or Turkic. Instead, Bulgarians are a living blend, a fusion of the oldest Balkan inhabitants, the Thracians, enriched by steppe tribes, Slavs, and centuries of cultural contact. The biggest surprise wasn't just who Bulgarians descended from, but how stable their DNA remained despite so many invasions and migrations. Throughout history, the Balkans were one of the most fought over regions in Europe. Empires rose and fell. Borders changed dozens of times, armies marched back and forth for centuries, and yet, the DNA showed a remarkable continuity. That means under every war, every empire, and every migration, ordinary families stayed, farming, raising children, living in the same valleys, generation after generation. While rulers changed, the people endured, 
their blood carried the memory of civilizations long gone. The Proto-Bulgars themselves turned out to be more complex than expected. Early historians believed they were purely Turkic, descended from nomads of Central Asia. But genetic studies revealed a more mixed origin, part Eurasian steppe, part Caucasus, and even some ancient Iranian elements. This suggests the Proto-Bulgars were not a single race or tribe, but a confederation of many peoples, united by culture and leadership rather than blood. When they settled in the Balkans, they didn't erase the locals. They blended in, intermarried, and adopted the language that eventually evolved into modern Bulgarian. So, in a way, the Proto-Bulgars were less conquerors and more catalysts. They sparked the creation of a new nation from the mix of ancient Balkan and Slavic roots. For historians, the reappearance of the Thracian genetic signature was perhaps the most moving discovery of all. For centuries, people thought the Thracians had vanished, absorbed by Rome, then wiped out by waves of migration. But DNA proved otherwise. Their descendants were never gone. They simply became the backbone of the Bulgarian people. So while Bulgarians speak a Slavic language today, their biological roots go much deeper, connecting them to the first farmers and warriors of the ancient Balkans. It's a reminder that history is not just written in books. It's written inside us, in every cell, in every drop of blood. After these studies were published, historians had to rethink many long-held assumptions. The idea that the Thracians disappeared had to be rewritten. The claim that Bulgarians were mainly Slavic also became outdated. Even the supposed Turkic link turned out to be far smaller than imagined. Instead, Bulgaria emerged as one of Europe's most ancient genetic continuities, a place where the same human line has lived for thousands of years, adapting to new cultures but never losing its core. It's a powerful reminder that nations aren't built overnight. They're shaped by countless generations, each leaving something behind. The most fascinating part of this story isn't just the data, it's how people respond to it. For many Bulgarians, hearing that they share DNA with the ancient Thracians feels like rediscovering a forgotten part of themselves. It connects them not just to history, but to the land itself, the rivers, the mountains, the soil that has carried their ancestors for millennia. For scientists, it's a glimpse into how populations survive. For the world, it's another chapter in understanding what makes us who we are. Thousands of years ago, before the rise of Greece and Rome, the Balkans were home to the Thracians, one of Europe's oldest and least understood civilizations. They built fortified hilltop towns, carved tombs deep into the earth, and left behind treasures made of pure gold. Their kings were buried with horses and weapons, their queens with jewelry fit for gods. The Thracians worshipped nature, the sun, the earth, and the spirits of the mountains. Some legends even say that the Greek god Dionysus, the god of wine and ecstasy, was originally Thracian. But what makes them most fascinating is how large their world was. At their height, Thracian tribes stretched across what is now Bulgaria, Romania, northern Greece, and European Turkey. They were not a small people. They were a vast civilization. And then, slowly, they faded. They were conquered by the Persians, then by Alexander the Great, and finally absorbed into the Roman Empire. Their cities became Roman towns, their gods replaced by new ones. Their language disappeared. For centuries, historians thought the Thracians were gone, but DNA proved otherwise. Their descendants had never vanished. They simply became part of the next chapter, part of what we now call the Bulgarian people. Free Bulgarian today carries fragments of that forgotten world, the Thracian kings, the ancient farmers, the builders of gold-filled tombs under the earth. The Slavic tribes arrived not long after the Proto-Bulgars. They moved south in waves, bringing with them their customs, songs, and a language that would eventually evolve into modern Bulgarian. They didn't conquer the Balkans, they settled it. They mixed, married, and formed villages alongside the older people of the region. Their main legacy wasn't genetic, it was cultural. The Bulgarian language, alphabet, and early Christian traditions all bear a Slavic foundation. 
When the Slavs and Proto-Bulgars merged, something powerful happened. A civilization emerged that carried the endurance of the Balkans, the spirit of the steppe, and the creativity of Slavic culture. Genetically, almost every European population is built from the same three ancient sources. Early farmers from Anatolia, who brought agriculture to Europe hunter-gatherers who had lived on the continent since the Ice Age, steppe herders from the Pontic Caspian Plains who spread Indo-European languages. What makes Bulgaria stand out is how clearly all three of these layers are preserved in one place. The early farmers became the ancestors of the Thracians, the steppe herders were the proto-Bulgars, and the later Slavic tribes brought the final linguistic layer. Bulgaria, in a sense, is a microcosm of European history. Every major migration and transformation left its mark here. Genetic research also linked ancient Bulgarians to key prehistoric cultures. The Varna culture on Bulgaria's Black Sea coast, which produced the world's oldest worked gold over 6,000 years ago. The Yamnaya culture from the steppe, whose migrations shaped the entire Indo-European world and the Balkan Bronze Age societies, which traded with Mycenaean Greece and even Egypt. These connections mean Bulgaria wasn't isolated, it was central. It helped shape the flow of people, technology, and culture across ancient Europe. When we talk about the roots of Europe, we're not just talking about Greece or Rome, we're talking about the Balkans. And Bulgaria stands right at its heart. Every generation that survived, through wars, occupations and revolutions carried forward that ancient spark of identity. But this isn't just Bulgaria's story, it's the story of humanity itself. No nation is pure, no people are untouched by others. We are all mixtures of migrations, wars that stretch back into prehistory. The history of Bulgaria itself from ancient Thracian tribes and steppe horsemen to Slavic settlers and Ottoman influences, every chapter has left its mark on the Bulgarian genetic code. If you've enjoyed this journey through the unique DNA of Bulgaria, let us know in the comments. Have you taken a DNA test and discovered some Bulgarian roots? Or maybe you've always wondered about the origins of your family's dark eyes or Balkan features? Share your stories, we'd love to hear them. And don't forget, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thanks for watching, and goodbye for now.